Chromebooks are based around simplicity. You sign in with a Google account, all of your data is instantly synced through the cloud, and the experience is very easy to use and very user-friendly. Except when it isn't. The app situation on Chrome OS definitely isn't simple. You can download the same app from up to five places. The Google Play Store, the Chrome Web Store, an installable web app, a Linux app through the terminal, or even by using a Linux app store. Sometimes these apps function mostly the same but on other occasions, there are major differences. This can make finding the right app anything but simple. How did Chrome OS become so bloated with app options? And what are the potential solutions? Let's find out. Back in 2011, when the first Chromebooks hit the market, the only option for apps outside of the Chrome browser was the Chrome Web Store. This made for a very simple but also very limited experience. You were basically limited to the web for everything you needed to do. Five years later, in 2016, the Google Play Store became available on some Chromebooks. This introduced a much needed upgrade in terms of apps on Chrome OS. While not everything on the Play Store works properly on Chromebooks, the service just added so much to the operating system. Gaming became something actually possible on these cheap, mostly plastic laptops, and a variety of useful apps allowed users to edit photos, make videos, and just get much more out of their devices. At this point, it was still fairly simple in terms of apps. Android apps could be found on the Play Store, and other Chrome-based apps could be found in the Web Store. Then, in September of 2018, Linux app support was rolled out to a few select Chromebooks. Over time, this support has expanded to most newer Chromebooks. Initially, this meant that you could only install Linux apps through the command line, but now you can install a Linux app store and install apps from there too. If you'd like to install a Linux app store on your Chromebook, the link to my video on the topic is on screen and in the description for you to enjoy. Speaking of enjoyment, if you are enjoying the video, it'd be great if you would leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the video and the channel as a whole. Anyways, Linux support meant more ways to install apps, and more confusing decisions. But it gets even worse. Chrome OS also now supports installing websites as apps, meaning that if you are using a site like Spotify, you can pin it to the taskbar and it will open in a separate window as though it is a separate application. All of this means that there are just too many places to download and install apps. For example, I could install BitTorrent from the Chrome Web Store, the Google Play Store, through the GNOME Application Store, or I could just use it online. That's a lot of options for just one application. Another example is Spotify, Play Store version, online version, Linux version, and the installed app version, which can also be found in the Chrome Web Store. The average Chromebook user doesn't know which to use. They just click on the first link and install the app. This is, in my opinion, a fairly major issue. And so, I created this concept. Now, I'm no graphic designer, but I hope this sort of shows you my idea. I think Chrome OS U needs a unified app store for Android apps, Linux apps, web apps, as well as themes and extensions. This would replace the current Play Store and Web Store, as well as providing a hub for useful Linux apps. Now you may have noticed I have included Linux apps in this store. That's part of another idea I think would benefit Chrome OS, and that is having Linux apps enabled by default. For my view, it really is an integral part of the OS, just like how subscribing is an integral part of enjoying this video. If you've enjoyed any part, it would be just awesome if you would subscribe.